I'm Chef Belinda and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make garlic mashed cauliflower. For those of you who may be on a low carb or no carb diet, these garlic mashed cauliflower uh, like potatoes are a great substitute for the real potatoes. I've cut up my head of cauliflower and I've put into a double boiler. We're going to put a lid on it and let this steam for about 15 minutes. So now our cauliflower is cooked. I've tested it and it's soft. So now we can put it into our food processor and finish it up. We're gonna pour half of it in here, pulse it a few times, let it reduce, and then we'll add the remainder to there. So we'll just Okay, so we're gonna process this a little bit. But I also want to stop and add in our garlic our clove of garlic because we want to make sure that it gets really incorporated into it. The recipe calls for one or two cloves. I'm going to add one large clove today. We don't want to add too much garlic. So that piece of garlic has been smashed and peeled. Now we'll continue and let this process until it gets to be pretty fine and then we'll add our other ingredients. At this point it's mixed enough that we can go ahead and start adding some of the other ingredients. So I'm going to add some salt, and this is of course to taste. So I'm, this is maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add some white pepper. You can add black if that's all you have, but when I'm working with light dishes, I like to use white pepper. Then we're gonna to continue to pulse this. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add one of the pats of butter, and we're gonna use a total of two. Again, the butter, the milk will make it come together on a little smoother. I'm gonna add them. Here I have a quarter cup of milk, but I'm gonna add it a little bit at a time. You see how it's turning now? It's getting to be smoother. I'm gonna add that one last pat of butter, and I believe we're done. That's it. But we're ready to now put this into our bowl. I'm going to use a, just a spatula. Turn this out into our bowl. And what I like to do is finish this up just a few chopped chives over the top. And one other thing that you can do, if you like when you serve it, is to put maybe drizzle a tablespoon of olive oil over it. 